Hey, what's up guys? Dominique Danielle here again, and I am back with my mother, Gina. We thought it would be only right to tell you a story about the time she was going to kill me. It's only right. It's a lot of times I wanted to do that. It is. It is. <laughs> I wanted to do that. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're going to get into the one time out of all the other times. The one the most with the washing machine. Okay. So, let me explain something to y'all, okay? Oh when I'm a kid, I have an imagination. I, ha I have always had a heart for animals, okay? I always loved animals, but I got to this certain age where I wanted to make sure that animals was treated accordingly, like people, for the most part. And <laughs> we had just got a new washing machine. Gina, she loves to wash clothes. She loves them. Tell them, Gina. Tell them how you love to wash clothes. Tell them. Tell them. I like to wash clothes. I do. I do. I do. But I don't like to wash rugs that you cut up off the floor and put into a washing machine. So, let me tell y'all about this before you judge me. Okay, because we had we had a dog named Poochie Poo. Poochie Poo lived to be 19 years old. Older than that. Yeah, he was almost 20. He was almost 20 My years old. used to say, he pees dirt. Yeah, basically. He's, he's older he's, than he, dirt. He was old. He was really Very old. old. Um... And before he got old, this was before he was old, he was actually, you know, just grown. And he was outside, he had a doghouse outside, and I saw that his rug, the carpet, you know carpet, piece like real carpet. carpet, a piece of carpet. We cut a piece of carpet And put out. it in his doghouse. We got new carpet, and so I said, oh, I'm going to put carpet in my dog's house. So I put carpet in there. Yeah. Then um, I went to work. I think I went to work. I yep. Was, Yep. I think I was welding at the time on the barges down there in East St. Louis. And I I came home and I had just bought a brand new washer and dryer. Brand spanking new. Nice. Oh, I mean, I was so excited about she this. She was. She was going to wash the hell out of some clothes. I come home and before I could get in the house, because I, I pull up in the driveway. And when I pulled up in the driveway, I heard this noise. And this noise sounded like... Somebody. Bookada, bookada. Bookada, bookada. Really? I'm like, bookada, bookada. It, it was just, it was just, it, oh my gosh, it was just. And I was like, what is going on in the house? <laughs> I said, oh my God, I know this girl too young to be by herself, I guess. I couldn't, I just said, I don't know what's going I go in there. And when I get in the house, I run and I can hear it. It's even louder. Booga boom, booga boom, booga boom. I said, oh my God, something is wrong with my washing machine. <laughs> I go in there and look, it's got the piece of carpet <laughs> sitting down in my washing machine that the top is open and it's spinning with the piece of carpet hanging out of it. I was so mad. I wanted to kill a brick. <laughs> I couldn't get myself together. I couldn't talk. All I knew was that I was going to kill Dominique. <laughs> kill Dominique. That's all I knew. Now, That's all I ever knew. Because I knew this for much. I, I went and I had to stop the washing machine. But... I was going to until I saw her. And when I saw her, I couldn't go turn it off. Something came over me where I just couldn't control myself. I was going to kill her right then. And I told her, get out of the house. Get out of the house. Get out. Get out of here. Fuck you. You go find something. Get out. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. She was going out the door crying. <laughs> she was standing outside the fence. I said, don't you come back inside this fence. Because if you come back inside this fence, I'm going to kill you. Back then, I cussed. See, I'm a saved woman now. But I, oh, 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 I acted bad. So anyway, she was standing out there crying. Somehow, I finally get this rug out. I don't even know how she got the rug down in the washing machine. I ain't never seen anything like it. I ain't never seen nothing like it. 
I don't know, as little as she was, I don't know how she rolled that, you know how that carpet on the bottom is real hard? Mm -hmm. That carpet you put down on the floor that lasts for years and years? That's the rug she put in there. She didn't put a throwing rug in there. She put a rug in there you ain't even supposed to wash. You have to get it steam clean because you can't. This is the rug that was in my washing machine. And let me tell you what the condition that rug was. It had mud all over because Poochie Poo goes in and out of his house and he had a little mud spot. I wanted to go, wash it for him. Let, I let almost wanted to hit you just then. Let me I'm explain I'm trying this. to tell you about this Let rug. me explain, okay? Poochie Poo is out. He was outside. It was the summertime. And it was it was time to new uh, for a new rug or for something to be cleaned. I noticed that we had just got a washing machine. Why so, didn't she take a water hose and clean it? I didn't Why she got to put it in my washing machine? I just bought the washing machine. I hadn't even had the washing machine a week. When I got over to the washing machine, it was so much mud on oh, my brand new washing machine. It was mud running down on the sides. It was mud on top. It was so much mud. I took that piece of rug and I threw it in the middle of the street. I took that piece of rug and I threw it, I threw it across the street. And woo, 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 and fell in the street and I left it there. <laughs> Poor Poojay Poo. Didn't have a rug. I was so mad. And then when I went back, my washing machine had clogged up from the mud. All the little holes, you know, the little holes that be in the washing machine. So when it would spin, the water would go. I ain't had that no more. <laughs> That was all gone. It was all clogged up with mud. I had to go get a stick and stick it in the holes to get the mud out. <laughs> then, on top of that, I tried to wash some clothes. I cleaned it as best I could. And when I went to wash clothes, I was pulling my clothes out. That dog hairs all over my clothes. <laughs> Still hurts to this day to even explain, explain it. I was so mad. I wanted to kill her that day too. I just wanted the dog to have some, a clean car. I couldn't do it. That's all I wanted. I just wanted the dog to have a clean car. You wouldn't be able to do it. That was all. I don't know what was wrong with this kid. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. I just wanted the dog to have a clean carpet. I. That's it. That's all I wanted. The carpet. Yes. I, I can't. I can see I was the gonna rug. put it in the dryer when it was done. I ain't never seen anything like it. It didn't make it to the dryer. And it, it was so crazy because it was standing so far out of the washing machine. It was standing, it was that much out of the washing machine and it was spinning and it was hitting it. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. I said, oh my God. She could have tore up the belt. The belt could have broke. It could have been. I just wanted a clean carpet for the dog. And Poochie Poo comes in the house anyway when it's storming or had bad weather. He so did. I don't know why. But when he was outside, he should have had something clean. You know, that's how I felt. I bet you, I bet you, she didn't get no more rugs after that. I, I made her stand outside till it was almost dark. I didn't even use that washing machine until a couple of years after. I didn't even use it. She was. She everything. stood outside that fence for some hours. I did. I was not allowed to come even inside the fence. And she cried all the time. She was standing out there. It got dark. I know the mosquitoes was biting. I cried. I cried because I. I, I knew care. She wanted. I, I didn't was, care. That was the day. I was so mad. Somebody could have came and got her. I wouldn't have been mad. Oh. Then took messed up my washing machine. I spent big money on that washer and dryer and got it all at one time. Cause you know back then folks was kind of poor. You had to buy one piece and wait to get the other. Well, see, I was welding and I was making a little money. And so she had a trampoline in the backyard that was big as big as big as almost a house. And she rather put carpet in my washing machine than jump on her trampoline. I couldn't understand it. <laughs> I couldn't understand it. Just, so she stood out there outside the fence. She couldn't come in the yard and stand in the, by the fence. She had to go die. outside and stand on the either. outside of the fence. And I, I told her, die. I said, I don't care. And I could hear her out there crying. <laughs> I didn't care. I didn't care if she cried. She stood out there for a long time at that corner. She stood on the corner. In case I came out, she would have ran. Because I know she knew I was going to kill her. I was going to kill her. I, ooh, and I didn't have Jesus then. You, ooh. Well, you did, but you just wasn't ooh. really. Yeah, I, I didn't ooh. come inside the fence because I was ooh. going to die. You would have felt the fire. And you know I didn't play. 
I didn't play. Yeah, well, so, luckily, uh, I made it out alive. I stayed outside the fence. And she she made it. Down. She's here, right? She, I'm she here. made it. I'm here. I must have had some Jesus. Yeah, she did. Because she really did want to take my life. I must have had a whole lot of Jesus. I would never I, it. I, 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 I've never had that problem again. Oh, y'all can see. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this story. But we got another story that we actually need to tell. Uh -oh. So, uh, make sure if you want to hear that story, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay? And keep watching. And thank you so much for watching and until next time it's been one i'm dominique danielle and this is my mother gina my guest for today <laughs> bye